Hi guys, um, I'm doing a video rep response to John Wayne Call 45 on the six um, favorite production knives um, in no particular order. Uh, first one is the Sage. This one is a uh, super light lightweight strong uh, uh, fit and finish great material used S30B made in Taiwan and uh, same titanium used in uh, as in Chris Reef 7's uh, perfect uh, clip because of the smoothness in the titanium it goes in your pocket easily but it will not fall off because um, it's a pretty deep clip and uh, it's very uh, anonymous great one alright second uh, let's pick up it's my uh, Baron. This one is also very light for a four-inch knife. It has um, it's it weighs only four ounces. Great ergonomic. Um, it's made in Japan. It designed by uh, Ed Shemp. It's the line, liner lock. Easy to flip. Strong. Uh, this this one is a like multi-purpose knife. You can use it for uh, EDC. You can use it for defensive knife. You can use it for, uh, for like a camping knife foot prep uh, it uses green G10 very grippy and uh, slim profile lot of design uh, sits very well in your pocket and looks very handsome left right carry Here it comes Another spider call. This one is the captain. Uh, it has. I have a play a little a light oil on it, so looks a little bit dirty. Um, this is a VG10 in a Seki City, Japan. It has a very uh, good-looking blade. It has a inward cut and hour cut so um, for cutting ropes or um, stuff like that like sh downward cutting this, this one serves a purpose the weight is about four, four ounces and um, it, it has a great uh, uh, feel in your hand it's wide but it's not heavy and uh, it's a great liner lock four-way uh, clip carry open easily carry easily in your hand in your pocket it's a great EDC knife and very handsome you don't get uh, to see many of these uh, on the market nowadays all-time favorite now comes the Volker Haddock. See can. Okay. Uh, this might have some flaws, but um, I still love it. The shape just works for a lot of things. Thick, uh, thick blade has a very uh, high hollow ground. 
so it creates a little bit of uh, uh, space over there so you can just push your knife out with one hand uh, this uh, Jen Zanzo's knife collaboration with uh, Boker titanium frame lock G10 slab with, with the liners the weight's very light I love strong and light knives great utilitarian knife and it's very people friendly tip down carry and tip up carry ball got tip down because the detent of this knife is not very strong it's, uh, but good knife then comes the Strider PT I hate this knife but at the same time I, I love it there's a lot of uh, issue with this knife uh, but I'll get, I'll get over it G10 this is a CC version uh, G10 with a flamed titanium uh, lock bar side uh, the CC version doesn't come with a clip the there's a normal version comes with a clip over here and uh, they have uh, many type of uh, blade um, blade uh, surfaces this one is a uh, DG camo they have a tiger stripe and uh, stone washed this is a great small EDC it's a uh, 2.75 inches I think and uh, good uh, buck up EDC I like the choils choils you can choke up and I do a lot of, a lot of uh, neat stuff it's sharp but um, just enough to do its job it's not extremely sharp because um, this is a pretty thick blade and uh, I think the maker wants it to be rather strong than uh, than sharp and my last one is the Kershaw Vault. This is a collaboration work uh, with uh, Mr. RJ Martin based on his uh, Q36 design. I love the short pocket clip, uh, hinderers lock, titanium uh, lock side. All the silver part that you see is titanium with uh, G10 inlays. Uh, the, when I got this uh, knife it doesn't flip that well but after a few hundred flips it's perfect I mean just perfect this is a, a um, my favorite of uh, all production knife uh, excluding the Chris Reef because I think Chris Reef is uh, more of a semi custom knife they use this, this this knife uses two steel um, I forgot the okay, M390 and the, the top one is D2 and the, the line that joins the blade it's uh, it's copper extremely centered the blade thick the knife is not it's not heavy and uh, open through design a lot of detail in this knife one has to uh, handle it to appreciate it see the curve holds it extremely well alright guys sorry um, my time's up thank you very much for, for watching it